thank you, Jesus. Blessed be the name. He came to invest it 
into his pol uh, politics and lo and behold he was able to win it and once he became the president power was given to him so he used the power to go and redeem his mother so power is very very powerful that if you have power you have everything so i want to let i want to this is what we are going to discuss and i want to thank god today by the grace of god we had a nice service in newton Heath. it was so atomic the presence of god was so strong through his word those of you who watch um, live on facebook uh, i don't know why it's not there again that is why i would recommend that you try to um, go on YouTube and then watch every video of Ma. You can uh, go to YouTube and then press Prophet Kwajo Admakom. Prophet Kwajo Admakom. You will see all my videos there because I don't know why uh, when I do it, it doesn't stick there again. But every video we do, it is being um, transferred to YouTube. So I want to encourage you that if you are looking for some of my messages and you are not finding it, um, just quickly go to YouTube, just press Prophet Kwajo Admako. You will see many videos there and um, if you are praying, you can pray with it. And if, if you are down, you can pray with it and your life will be fixed forever. So tonight I will be praying with you, believing God that He will touch your life, prophesy into your life and then try to bring you into the plan and the purposes of God. And this is our duty as a prophet, as a minister of God, it is my duty to bring you into where God wants you to be. I am not here to scatter you. I'm not here to torment your life, but I'm here to bring God's mind into your life so that we will enforce the will of God through the power of God and then your life will be fixed forever. So by the grace of God, I'll be in Germany. I'll be in Germany on Wednesday evening, but Thursday evening we are going to start powerful service in in Germany. In Germany is going to be atomic. Um, Germany's program is going to be prophetism. If you know anybody around Germany, Hanover, just get them connected. Um, the flyer is already on my page. You can pick the number, give to the person. If somebody is sick, if somebody is in need if somebody is desperately sick and then is looking for help and assistance from God let the person get connected this three four days that I'm going to spend in Germany is going to be awesome if somebody is sick if somebody is being battered by the devil if somebody is being beaten by the devil if the devil is harassing your marriage if the devil is harassing your life tormenting your life this is the reason why I am coming to um, Hanover, Germany. And it's going to be awesome. Get connected. Be my guest as I mount into Germany, Hanover, to minister the word of God through the power of the Holy Ghost. Something must happen into your life. I can't wait to see you in Germany, Hanover, from um, 22nd up to 25th. 22nd to 25th, the flyer is um, already on my page. The, the address, the number, everything, you can pick it and then call. When you call, you'll be able, there's, somebody will respond to you and the person is going to give you any information that you need to know about my ministry. I am coming there full of the Holy Ghost. I am coming there full of the Holy Ghost. As you see me here, I am so empowered by the Spirit of God through fasting and prayers and that is why I am just warming myself up to come and meet you in Germany so get connected and when you get connected your life will never be the same people living around they can get connected by picking the number call and then God is going to use us to be a blessing if you are looking for the fruit of the womb you are also one of the reasons why I'm coming to Germany if you are looking for the fruit of the womb you are one of the reasons why I'm coming. Just pick the number there and call. If your document has been delayed, if your document has been delayed, you are one of the reasons why I'm coming to Hanover. Pick the number and call. If your marriage is going down, you are one of the reasons why I'm coming to Hanover. Pick the number and call. If you have lost hope in life, you are one of the reasons why 
uh, I'm coming to Hanover. Pick the number and call. It's going to be awesome as I minister the word of God with you. It's going to be prophetic. If you if you are confused and you don't know what to do in life, whether to marry or to jump or to do, you are the reason I'm coming to Hanover. And I believe that God is going to use me to be a blessing to your life. So get ready next week and Hanover is going to be fire shows holy holistic is going to be atomic i just came from italy it was uh fanta bruta what a blessing i thank god for those who are watching me it's also a blessing to see everybody then we are going to start 21 days of fast let me just quickly make this announcement then we shoot into the word of god we are going to have 21 days of fasting 21 days of fasting and prayers which is going to start on the Third of um, third of December, third of December is going to start on the third of December. I want you to get connected to this grace, and God is going to touch your life. So we are going to do twenty one days fasting and prayers, and every day I'll be in um, social media five a.m. in the morning and five p.m. in the morning to pray with the children of God. So if you are, um, if you want to be, if you want to participate through this grace, just get connected. It's going to be awesome. Twenty-one days of fasting and prayers. The theme is binding the strong man, binding the strong man. In these twenty-one days, I have time to explain to you who, who, who is the strong man, what are their activities, what are the functions, what are the characteristics of a strong man, and how to deal with them. And I'm telling you that we are going to learn a lot of things from this uh, twenty-one days of fasting and prayers, which is going to start on the 3rd of December and as you can see I've already started but we are just trying to shift the day ahead so that you can prepare your heart prepare your mind to join us during this fasting and prayers it's going to be awesome and if you are in Manchester during this program every Saturday and Sunday we'll be meeting in Newton Gate every Saturday and Sunday Every Saturday, 4.30 p.m., you'll be meeting in Newton Heath for deliverance and prayers. Because through these teachings, many people will be needing deliverance. Some people will be need a touch, a hand. A, a, a hand must be laid on you to change your life and to take your life to the next level. And we are going to do all these things. God has brought us to this far to prepare us so that we can bless his people that he has washed them with his blood and he has purchased them with his son Jesus Christ. So get ready and um, Facebook get ready Manchester 21 days binding the strong man. In this 21 days I'll be talking to you about the, the strong man in communities that are ruling in communities. The strong man that are that are ruling in, in nations. I'm going to explain things to you. I'll, I'll give you the revelation that God has given to me. The strong man that is ruling the United Kingdom. The strong man that is ruling Manchester. The strong man that is ruling your locality. God is going to um, use me to be a blessing to you. And it's going to be awesome. So get ready for all these activities that is coming on. On the day of 3rd December to 22nd of December. I can't wait to see you. It's going to be hot. And tonight, God bless you so much. I know that you are already being blessed. And uh, I want to quickly enter into the word of God and then share my heart with you. The necessity of God's power. The necessity of God's power. If, if your awareness of what I'm talking about will change your life, you can be in church without power. You can be a Christian without power. The reason why is we, we, you need to be taught. So if you are not teachable, you will not be able to receive what we are talking about. So you can be a Christian, you can mention your church name, but that doesn't guarantee power to you. So with these studies, I'll be sharing with you um, how to connect to the power of God. How to connect to the power of God. All the keys to spiritual power. Keys to spiritual power. And um, I, I believe that God is going to use me to be a blessing to you. So um, let's quickly get into the word of God quickly. Then uh, let's see what the Lord will do for us. Spirit of God, I thank you. 
I bless your holy name. You are awesome. Tonight, take over. Touch the heart of people. Give them insight. Give them revelation. Let them know the hope of their calling. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. In Psalm number... In Psalm number 63, verse 1 to 2. Yes. Psalm number 63, verse 1 to 2. Let's quickly read it. Psalm number 63, verse 1 to 2. And God is going to help us right now in the mighty name of Jesus. Psalm number 63, verse 1 to 2. You can pick your pen and paper. Let's get into the word and then um, I'll be praying with you. Psalm number 63, verse 1 to 2. Then we'll read Psalm 62, verses 11. So let's get to Psalm 63, verse um, 2, 1 and 2. Let's see. Say, O God, thou art my God. Early will I seek thee. My soul tested for thee. My flesh longed for thee. In the dry and testy land, where no water is. I repeat, O God, thou art my God. Early will I seek thee. My soul tested for thee. My flesh longed for thee. In a dry and testy land, where no water is. See, to, to see thy power and thy glory, so as I have seen thee in the sanctuary. To see the, thy power and thy glory, so as I have seen thee in thy sanctuary. In Psalm number 62, verse 11, God has spoken once, twice have I heard this, that power belong unto God. Then let's read one scripture in Matthew chapter 10. And let's see, Matthew chapter 10, verses 1. And when he had called unto them his disciples, he gave them power, against unclean spirits to cast them out and to heal all manner of sickness and all manner of disease. I repeat, and when he had called them unto himself, he gave them power against unclean spirits. He gave them power against unclean spirits to cast them out and to heal all manner of sickness and all manner of disease. Tonight I'm talking to you about the necessity of God's power. I've read to you three scriptures. One talks about how he, how the, uh, the psalmist is yearning to uh, look into God's power. Or how the psalmist is yearning to rise up early in, in the morning. And all because he's thirsty for God's power. And he's tasty for God's glory. And in Psalm number 62 verse 11, it talks about how God has spoken. And in his speaking, it says that uh, power belongs to him. God spoke to himself. And he said that power belongs to himself. And in Matthew chapter 10 verse 1, says that Jesus Christ also came. And then he gave, he called all his disciples and then he gave them power against unclean spirits. He gave them power against unclean spirits. And then to cast them out and to heal every sickness and all manner of diseases. Beloved, may the Lord add his blessing to his, the reading of his word. Tonight I am talking to you about the necessity of God's power. Why am I bringing all these topics? Because God has shown me many things as I'm growing, I've seen a lot of things that has, that has happened to people that they blame God. They blame God for going to church. S some people blame their pastor. Some people blame the church they go. Some people blame their family they go. Some people blame their husband. Some people blame their background. But all the blaming or all the accusation could be true. But the bottom lie is there is power that is available for you. That when you go for that power, everything that you are looking for will change. Some people are blaming their husbands they have married because their husband is not 
um, doing well for them. Uh, some, what, the other day, somebody said that my husband doesn't smile. My husband doesn't, doesn't know how to play uh, with me. And then uh, as I visited them, I just saw that uh, they lack the presence of God. Because where there is presence, uh, there is feeling, uh, there is emotion. Because the presence of God will make you emotional. And all these things is true, but people have failed to recognize that power. And once you, you, you fail to recognize it, you give strength to the devil to operate powerfully. So nowadays, you will see that people are crying. People are in church, but they go through a lot. People are in church, but they are confused. And because of that, some people even go for juju. Some people go for uh, Illuminati. Some people join different sectors of groups because they, they, they are fed up. They are tired of these so-called men of God that are calling the name of God. But beloved, no matter what you are going through, I am here as a servant of God, being anointed by God, backed by God, empowered by God to come on your way for you to know the necessity, the necessity of God's power that if you have to sit up, you sit up very well so that you can grab yourself or you can put yourself or you can go in line with us who are already into the power of God. No power, no breakthrough. So number one, we need the power of God because of demonic activity. Or the demonic activity is increasing. And that is why we need the power of God. Demonic activity is increasing. So nowadays you will see that people are killing people. You will see people taking people's husband. You will see people collapsing people's job, people's business. The secret is demonic activity is increasing. Nowadays, you build house for somebody to take care of the house. And when it is time for you to go and take the house back, the person will take you to Juju and kill you. All is because the demonic activity is increasing. And without the power of God, the demonic activity will have power over your life. So what am I trying to say? I am trying to tell you that the reason why or the, the necessity of God's power is because demonic activity is increasing. That is why the Bible says that when it is getting to the end of this world, a lot of people's love will grow cold. That is why you could see somebody who can go in for magic power and then put on clerical and say that he is a man of God. All is because of the activities of demonic. The activities of demonic. And in spite of the world that we live, you need the power of God because the demonic activity is increasing. If you don't rise up and enter into the power of God, somebody will kill you and take your husband. They will, they will kill you. It, it, it is so obvious. It is so easy that people, they, you will die before your age. They, they will just kill you because of demonic uh, activity. That is why I'm saying that it's a necessity. Anytime we talk of necessity, we talk of something that is important. We talk of something that is relevant. We talk of, you can never be a Christian and then try to overlook this. The increasing of demonic activity is so rampant in this world, in this act. It, it is rampant that if you joke, you will die before your age. You will go to heaven, all right. But Peter will tell you that you have come so soon. So the necessity of God's power is so relevant. And you need it. And I need it. And if we have it, we can paralyze the demonic activity that is going on in this world. The demonic activity that is moving on in your locality. Through the power of God. Through the power of God. The, the scriptures I read in Psalm 63. Just listen. The Psalm 63 the, the one I read, it says that to see thy glory, to see thy power and thy glory, so as I have seen thee in thy sanctuary, to see thy glory. Because once you have the power of God, the increasing, the increasing of demonic activity can never come near you. It can never come near your house. It can never come near your family. Because it is there. It is working. 
Now we don't know who is who. We all jump into church. Nowadays you be in church and witches are there. The, the other day one man of God was ministering. And in the course of his ministration, a lady came. And when the lady came, he saw that the lady's head was down. And then the leg, the, the, the leg was up and the head was down. And this man of God walked straight to this lady and then said, I never enter into my meeting with your leg upside down, up, and your head down. You could see that demonic activity is increasing. You will see people closing people's womb. You will see evil. You will see demonic activity taking people's husband, casting spell on people, making people stupid, making people vagabond, making people non-entity, making people useless in this world. Beloved, there is a necessity for God's power. It's either you join the group. That is why I spoke to you that one house is enough for the strong man. If you are for God, this is the reason why. This is the need for the power. The demonic activity. The other day somebody was going for his document. And then in the office that he was supposed to go and sign. He reached the office and saw his grandmother at the back of the officer. Immigration officer. Physically. He shouted blood of Jesus. Why? Demonic activity is increasing. There is nothing we can do about it. But you can protect yourself. You can preserve yourself. You can put walls around you. So the necessity of God's power is so important. And that is the reason why I am here. Not to talk about anybody. Not to, talk, not to gossip about anybody. But to reveal the Christ that is inside me to you. That Christ in me, the hope of glory, has given me peace. And through that peace, power is accompanied with it. So, beloved, the demonic activity is increasing. And that is why you need the power of God. Based on the scriptures we read, the necessity of God's power is relevant because sin and disease and sicknesses are waging war against us. Hmm. The, 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 you, you could see that sin, sicknesses, diseases. Because in Matthew chapter 10, it says that, And when God has called them, He gave them power against unclean spirits to cast out devil and to heal all manner of sickness and all manner of disease. All manner of sickness and all manner of disease. What am I trying to say? If you don't have the power of God, sickness will kill you. If you don't have the power of God, diseases will kill you. If you don't have the power of God, sin will, will, will kill you. It takes the power of God to overcome sin. It does not take math. It takes the power of God to overcome sin. So the necessity of God's power is so important so, so because sin is reigning everywhere. Now you could see that Everywhere you pass, they, they expose sin. They advertise sin. And if you check it well, you could see that everybody is swimming into where sin is. Why? Because it takes the power of God for you to say no to your flesh. For you to, to see alcohol and say that no. For you to see naked woman and say no. It takes the power of God. That is why people who try to brag against what I'm saying. They, they have already fallen. And you can only rise up against sin, rise up against diseases, rise up against sickness, only when you are empowered with the power of God. So this evening, the teachings I'm giving to you is so uh, important and it's, it's so relevant and it is so short that the, the necessity of God's power is relevant because of sin. And if you sin, or if you are the embodiment of sin, you have no power into the kingdom of God. You have no share into the kingdom of God. And because of that, flesh is ruling the church now. So nowadays, because of sin, we go to church and we do, we, with the consciousness 
that God is there. It's not there again. We don't have that consciousness that God is there. Because everything has become normal. Sin has become normal. And, and, be, and because of that, the devil is having free course to bring sickness. Because anytime there's sickness and disease, it's the background of it is sin. Because when sin entered into the world, disease, sicknesses also follow. So anytime sicknesses and diseases is moving on, it is accompanied by sin. That is why I've grouped it. That is why if you can if you can be free from sin, I'm telling you, you can be free from sicknesses. And it can only take place when you have the power of God. So the necessity of God's power is so important. If you are not nowadays, sicknesses, it, 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 does, it does not take you to reach 80 years for them to tell you that you are sick. At the age of 32, they can discover sickness. At the age of 40, they can discover. And the sicknesses that we are seeing right now, it can kill you within 24 hours. The sicknesses that they are discovering now, it, it can kill you within two days. So what am I talking about? You need the power of God. And that is why if you are in Hanover, you are blessed that as I'm coming. Because God has anointed me to impact his power in the life of people so that you can do well. So sin and sicknesses is, is moving everywhere. The other day I heard somebody saying that, um, that the person was in occultism and he repented. And I heard him saying that where, where he belongs to first, they used to sell sickness. They used to distribute sickness. Why? Because the devil is the owner of this world. So this world is not safe. We are not safe in this world. And that is why you need the power of God. It is already available. Don't just go to church and then spend two hours and come home and say that you are Christian. That is the, that is the minimal and the worst Christian you are. People who go to church only on Sunday, you are the worst Christian that God can ever count on you. Because you can never be a, a two hours church member and then ex, ex, expect the power of God. Because I'm going to show you keys into that power. So that you, you, you will not be blaming your mother. It is true that when, they, when you were born, you were born in a poor family. But you are success does not depend on your mother or your father. Your success depends on God and yourself. So if you can grab what I'm talking to you, don't blame your husband. If your husband is not in love with you, with you don't blame your husband. Because after these teachings, you, I'm going to show you many things so that you, you'll be aware of it. That the, the, the generation who has disappointed God is this generation. We, we have disappointed God so much that the devil is laughing and clapping. Because in our generation, we could see many activities of the devil. Why? Because lack of power. Everybody is afraid. When we see sickness, we can't pray for the sickness. We can't pray for the sick person. Anytime they, we see problem, we can't, we can't solve it. We'd rather send them to check up. Let them go and do any, any, anything. But we have failed to release the power and the presence of God. In my generation, I've seen that sickness is rampant. You see people with one eye closed, one eye open. You see people with arthritis. You see people with diabetes. You see people with cancer. You see people with fibro. You see, and they are in church dancing and clapping. Where is the power that we are talking about? I'm going to show you the key to that power so that you will know that the reason why Jesus Christ came to die for you is not for you to be in church to spend two hours and say that you are a Christian. No, no, no. It, 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 it is far more than that. Christianity is far more than that. And you need to sit up and then stop complaining and stop bragging. And then look for that power so that your child, your child that has been addicted, your child that is into smoking, your child that is into alcoholism, your child that is that is smoking.
give India help, you must know that it's a demonic activity. You need the power of God to break it. Other than that, you will die before your age. Because and as you keep on thinking, you will die before your age. The necessity of God's power. Oh God, empower me. Oh God, anoint me. I pray for somebody that the power of God will flow over your life. I pray for somebody that the grace of God will flow over your life. May you be on fire. May you be anointed. May you be audacious. Receive that power in the mighty name of Jesus. So we need the power of God because of sickness and disease. Because of sicknesses and disease. We need it. 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 And it is essential. Number three. We need the, the, the power of God. Or the, the power of God is necessity. Because there is a lot of suffering in this world. There is too much suffering. They used to say, uh, boys are bread. Then they would say, girls are bread. Then uh, um, I was watching one, uh, I don't know whether it was a comedy or something. Then a, a girl, they, they told a girl to pray for Ghana, who was selling something. And then he says that, Lord bless Ghana. And then he said that you, I think whether he was selling something, the thing was, in his, was on her head, head. And he says that you go round, 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 round. Run, run, run. People are suffering. People are suffering. Anyway, it's just a funny um, a comic comedy. The reason why we need the presence and the power of God is a lot of sufferings. It's not easy. People, people are suffering. People nowadays, people's be beauty is not helping them again. Before we thought that beauty could help. Before we thought that pumping breasts would help. Before we, we thought that being a slim with their bottles would help. But we could, we could see that they, they, they are the people who are going through a lot. They are facing a lot of troubles. And that is why we need the power of God. Beloved, I am not joking of what I'm saying. We need the power of God because there is a lot of suffering. Nipa People are into bondages. People are into confusion. People don't know what to do again. People are already, they have already given up. Not that they are not strong. They are strong enough to, to take over. They are strong enough to do many things. But because of the, the wickedness of the devil, it has made people suffering in this world. And that is why we need the power of God. Tonight, I'm trying to bring the power of God into your home. That if you can get this thing, if you can get the power, you settle everything. So suffering is so rampant. People are struggling. People are moving from one place to another, from one husband to another husband, thinking that it will work. They are suffering. They don't know what to do from one job to another job, from friendship to friendship, from business to business. They are suffering. Why? Because of the wickedness of the devil. And that is why we need the power of God. That is why we need the power of God. I'm going to pray with you. And I believe that after that, your life will never be the same. We need the power of God. It is so necessity. It is so important. The reason why is because the enemy. So, so we need the power of God so that the enemy will never overcome you. The necessity of God's power is that the enemy will not overcome you. Because if your enemy overcomes you, it means that you are powerless. If your enemy confronts you, it means that you are powerless. So we need the power of God. The power of God is so necessary to our generation. So that the enemy will never overcome us. Bible says in 1 Peter 5 verse 8. It says that the devil is rolling like a lion. To seek someone to devour. The devil is rolling like a lion. He's not ready to have a handshake with you. But he's rolling to seek somebody to devour. To consume. To engulf. To 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 to. To bring you down, to dismantle you, to kill you, and the, the power of God is so is so necessity that the enemy can never overcome us. Nowadays, you could see what the devil is doing now, and 
without the power that we are talking about, he will really overcome you. He will take your joy. He will take your happiness. He will take your blessing. In John chapter 10 verse 10, it says that the thief cometh not to steal, to kill, and to destroy. If you joke with the devil, he will overcome you. So the, the, the power of God is so necessity so that the devil will never overcome you. I pray for somebody that if you are yearning for that power, receive it in the name of Jesus. If you are yearning for that power, have it in the name of Jesus. If you are desiring for that power, may you have it in the name of Jesus. As I'm engaging your spirit right now, I release the power of God into your home. I release the power of God into your body. I release the power of God into your spirit in the mighty name of Jesus. The other day, one woman, a lady, a lady said that when she sleep, somebody comes to sleep with her. We try to exaggerate and we try to analyze. This lady said that she, she too doesn't understand that in the night, she will, uh, uh, before she will wake up, somebody has pulled her pant. And then she will feel that somebody has slept with her. And we, we were thinking that maybe somebody has come. But it was a demon spirit. Listen. If you joke with the devil, the devil will bring you down. The devil will put you into casualty. And that is why you need the power of God. So that the devil will never overcome you. He is looking for people to overcome. He has put a lot of people into, into sin. He has put a lot of people into his coven. He has put a lot of people in under his control, under his umbrella. But thank God that you are watching me at this moment, that you need the power of God. It is a necessity so that you overcome the devil. We need the power of God so that all closed doors Will be open for us. We need the power of God for doors to open. There are doors that is not easily be open. It can it will not be open. The door of marriage, the door of blessing, the door of victory, the door of favor, the door of appointment, the door of the fruit of the womb. They are all there for you. But you need the power of God. Somebody is sitting in front of that door. So you need the power of God. In Ezekiel chapter 11, Bible says that Ezekiel was ministering, but this was not going well. Then Bible, God opened the Ezekiel's eyes, and he says that I saw in, 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 the, in the house of the Lord, in front of the gate, there were people who were sitting in the, in the house of the church, giving evil devices. Uh, and he says that I saw Jezaniah, the son of Benaiah. Why? Because they are there to close doors for people. So if you don't go for the power of God, doors will not be open. You, you, will, you can't marry based on the family you come from. It is not easy for you to marry. Based of your background, you can't prosper. Based of your background, you will continue to fall down. Based of your background, you, things will not get well for you. And you need the power of God. So that the doors that are shut for you, hey, the marriage door that are shut for you, the blessings that are shut for you, will be open. I'm trying to give you headlines for today. I will come again to pray with you, to engage yourself, only for the power of God. Only for the power of God. I need your power. I am longing in your presence. I am longing in your presence, not for anything, but to see thy power. I am longing, I am thirsty, I am hungry, I desire, I need your power. Because I know that if I have the power of God, things that I'm mentioning to you can never control you. So you need the power of God so that all closed doors will be opening for you. May doors be open for you. Any door that is shut in your life, may it be open. May that ministry door be open. May that prophetic door be open. May that blessing door be open in the mighty name of Jesus. Let that door be open through the power of God. Let that door, let that door. I break any resistance, any resistance, any resistance, any stubborn demon that is standing between you and your blessing, that is standing between you and your breakthrough. Today, by the power of the Holy Ghost, I cry them out in the name of Jesus. The necessity 
of God's power. We need the power of God because there are evil prophets among us. There are evil pastors among us. And that is why we need the power. That is why the, the, the power of God is so necessary. There are evil prophets and you can't do anything about it. They are evil and they themselves know that they are evil. But what do we do? We need the power of God to confront them. That is why nowadays I'm even afraid people who lay hands on you because you don't know which is which. You don't know who the person is. Then they just tell you anything that you begin to do. The evil prophets nowadays we don't have any Baba again. They've all turned into pastors. They put on nice coat, suit. Put on nice. They, they look good. But within them is full of evil. Within them is they, they are wolves. Within them, they, they are tigers. Within them, they are witches. Within them, they are wizards. So you need the power of God so that when you come when you even meet an evil prophet, something that is inside. Will tell you that this is evil. You don't need anything. You just need the power. And once you need the power of God, you will just know. By the grace of God, we, we, I've seen people and when I see, because of the power within, I, I can quickly know something about the person. Whether it's gen, I can quickly know through the power in me. I'll just quickly know. At times I'll tell my wife, I'll at times I'll tell the person, I said, this is what is happening. Because there's power that is testifying. Or that is bearing witness within us. And that power is what I'm trying to bring to you. So there are wicked and evil prophets, pastors, evil. They, are, they wish you evil. Hmm. They wish you evil. Evil prophets, evil pastors. And that is why you don't. The Bible says, no man can be a ordinary Never depend on anybody, but trust in the Lord. And He will answer you. Trust in the Lord and he will give you rest. Trust in the Lord and in his power. Trust in the Lord and his power. That is why in, 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 in Ephesians chapter 6, it says that be strong in the Lord and, and the power. Be strong in the Lord and the power of his might. Be strong in the Lord and his power. Be strong in the Lord and his power. Don't be strong in any activity. Don't be strong in anything. But be strong in the, in the Lord. And the power of his might. The power of his might. Once you are able to become stronger and stronger and stronger and stronger and stronger into the school of power. Once you become stronger into the school of power. Any evil prophet that will come before you. That evil prophet will bow down. One day a lady called me and said that a pastor gave her an envelope and told her that she, she should go and the pastor just called her from the congregation. Told her to put offering inside the envelope. No, no um, explanation. And that is why, uh, you see, that is manipulation, that is witchcraft. Call and say, you will take it. Go and put offering inside. The, this offering, make sure that it is big. And when you are, when you are putting, you also told her to add certain things, which I can't, I can't see. Maybe she's watching. Put many things. And then the person called me. Say, man of God, this is what is happening. I said, this is called witchcraft. It's called witchcraft. Don't do it. God has, you see, God is not a, God is not a God of manipulator. You can't, you cannot force somebody. Christianity is not by force. That is why the Bible says that he that believeth, once you are able to believe, it settles everything. So there are evil prophets. They are, they are evil to give you, evil, how can we give you an oil which is green? A blue oil, a green oil, a red oil, anointing red oil, anointing green oil. It's an evil to spoil your womb. It's an evil to spoil your stomach. It's an evil to scatter everything inside you. One day a lady went to one of the countries and then a prophet met her. 
And then the prophet gave her a bottle of oil, a bottle of water, that when she comes back to Europe, she should use it to do some country. So, when this lady received the, the bottle of water, it says that at the airport, she wanted to open the bottle, the water, and drink some. And to her amazement, God opened the lady's eye. God opened the lady's eye. And then the lady saw a small lizard inside the water. You see, all this direction comes when we begin to see that you have no power. That is why I'm saying that these 21 days, get connected to me. Let's fast and pray. Binding the strong man. Once you are lazy, that is why all these things come inside. The God opened the lady's eye and then the lady saw a small lizard and she shouted and threw the, the, the bottle away. When she came back, she came to report to us. I looked at her and I shook my head. I said, you, your womb could have been spoiled. You will come and then they will discover that you have cancer. And then you will be going for genuine men of God to pray for you. By that time, it is too late. So I am trying to tell you that Bible says, Mumfa Osro ni working out your own salvation with fear and trembling. Working out your own salvation. Working it out. Yawmujuma. Pray together. Fast together. Come to church together. Let's study the word of God together. Let's pray together. Let's love one another. Working out your own salvation. Work it out. Work it out. Work it out. Work it out. If your marriage is not working well, work it out. If your finances is not working well, work it out. If your children are stubborn, work it out. You can work it out through receiving the power of God. Work it out, work it out, work it out, work it out, work it out. So we need the power because of all this evil, because of this evil prophets and evil pastors and evil apostles and evil teachers and false teachers. That is why we do, you need it. Once you have the power of God, I'm telling you that you will never be deceived. Once the power, that is why Bible says that it says that you have this unction, and because of that, no one teaches thee. It means that there is an anointing that must come upon your life. There must be a power that must, that must come upon your life. That when somebody is talking, and the person is faking, or the person is lying, you must know that this person is not the genuine. One day I heard somebody preaching, and says that if you, if you love somebody, and you don't even go and pay his diary is good because Adam and Eve didn't they were not having any father and mother but they, they stayed together and he was preaching but the one that was inside me told me that this is wrong doctrine this is heresy, this false doctrine is very bad the one that was inside me told me but the people that were listening because they, are, they have no power they were all jumping and clapping listen, you must go you must enter into the school of power. The necessity of God's power. The necessity. That is why the, the, in our generation, we, we, we all fall short of the glory of God because of no power. We have anybody, anybody is doing anything and wrong things and wrong behavior and many things is not working well because we don't have any power. We do not have the power of God because of this evil prophets. When they speak, we can't speak. When they shout, we can't shout. We call it manipulation. It's witchcraft that is at work. But when the power of God, the other day Elijah rose up and said that if the Lord that answered by fire, let him be God. It is time for us to prove to the world that the power, he that is in us, he that is in us, is greater than he that is in the world. And the devil knows that we know, that he knows, that we know, that he knows, that we know that he that is in us is greater than he that is in the world. I am talking about the power of God. You must be empowered. 
you must be anointed, you must be financial. I am not talking about leaders, I am talking about Christian God. Once you are a Christian and you have taken Jesus Christ as your personal savior, and you are a Christian, genuinely born again, you are entitled for the power of God to confront any witchcraft and any false prophet that will come on your way. One day my friend went to Ghana. He went to eat somewhere in a chopper. Whilst he was eating, a prophet walked around him. And then, as the prophet saw how they meet, and then the <laughs> the Akrantia the and things that are on, 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 the, on, the, on, the, on the fufu, on the chopper, this evil prophet, he quickly went to my friend. My friend also was a pastor, but the, the uh, the prophet didn't know that one God didn't open his eyes to see. So he went to him and said that, uh, Mother, do you know that uh, there's a, 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 the spirit of death is walking around you? Then my friend said that, how can the spirit of death walk around me whilst I'm eating? What, what, is, what is the spirit doing? Tell the spirit to come and eat. Then as they started arguing, then the prophet saw that he's a pastor. He said that, as I, as I opened my eyes, the man ran away. There are evil, evil prophets. The other day, one, one, one lady was saying that a, a prophet met her and, and said that the ring that she, she was wearing, she, she has married for almost five, six years. And the prophet met her and said the ring that she was, was wearing, there is a, a demon inside the ring. A pastor met this lady and said that there is a demon inside that ring, inside that ring. And this lady who has been in church, your pastor blessed your marriage. We, we, he, the pastor took the ring and blessed it and they exchanged the ring. After five years, you have met somebody and the person is telling you that there is a demon inside the, the, the ring. As the, as the lady removed the ring and gave to the prophet, ah, open up. The prophet started running with the ring because it was a gold ring. This woman started chasing this man, but he couldn't. Why? Because we lack the power of God. Once we lack the power of God, that is why we begin to do all, all these gimmicks and try to make people know that we have the power of God. But if you have it, you have it. So we need the power of God because of evil prophets, evil pastors, evil, evil apostles, evil teachers trying to spoil the vineyard, trying to spoil the kingdom of God, trying to spoil the gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ. Trying to make it, fake it. We need it. We need the power of God. We need it to confront it. That is why I am so, uh, I'm so surprised when I see my, my men of God trying to criticize about miracle in, in the, the fake ones. If we, we, the genuine ones, why are we not producing the genuine ones? If the fake ones are pro, pro, producing fake, what is the genuine doing? We are, we, are, we, are sit, we, are, we, are, we are sitting in our comfort zone as a man of God. Are you an officer? What are you going to do in the office? You go and sit in the office from Monday to Friday. Are you an officer? What are you going to do in the office? How much do you pray a day? How much do you fast a week? How much do you read your Bible? You're going to take an office and you have, you have allowed people to see that you have an office. Are, are, you, an, are you an officer? No wonder that the, the fake ones are even laughing at, at us. The fake are laughing at us. We are fighting against them, but they are laughing at us. Listen, the power of God is available. Jesus promised us with power. Jesus promised us with power. There is a necessity of God's power. You must be hungry for that power. You must be hungry for that power. That demonic activity that is going in your family. You must be yearning for that power to silence that voice of evil, that voice of an accuser in that family. That, that voice that has shattered every family. No head can be raised up. A tribune to me, so No head can be raised up. It is time for you to go into that power. Don't be afraid again because power belongs to God. He is the ultimate power. Don't be afraid. That evil spirit, that sickness, that has taken their family, that evil entity, that, that has taken their, their family, that nobody can marry in your family,
family. Nobody can have a wedding in your family. Nobody can prosper in your family. You need the power of God to confront it. It is not by clapping. It is not by paying tight. It is not by dancing. It is not by suit. It is not by makeup. But it is the power of God. And I'm going to show you. I will show you. I'm going to show you how to recognize the power of God. I'm going to show you. And I believe that God has kept me to this time so that he can bring what, is, what, has, he, has, what he has stored inside me to the body of Christ. You need it because of the evil spirits. Listen, finally. We, the, the necessity of God's power, Matthew, is that some of us, we come from a family or the family that we come from is a taboo to prosper. It's a taboo to prosper. No matter what you do, you can't prosper. Let them go and put you in a white house. You won't prosper. Let them, let them go and give you Mikey Jackson all his apartment that he bought. You won't prosper. It's a taboo. It's just a matter of time. Everything you are holding, it decays. And one of the reasons why you should know that it's a taboo for you to prosper is if you are a married person, check your married life. You see that your marriage is sinking. Because it's a taboo to prosper. You can't prosper in marriage. You can't prosper in business. You can't prosper in life. There's no prosperity. There's no laughter. There's no joy. There's no ability. There's no energy. There's no yearning. Why? Because it's a taboo for your family. The taboo, it is a taboo in your family. That you can't prosper. And that is why you must rise up. You must rise up. You must rise up and engage yourself with the prophetic power of the Holy Ghost. Swim yourself in the power. Drink the power. Enjoy yourself in the power. So that the power can catapult you. For Bible says that of four briefly at the gym, he takes people out of dungeon and place them on the hill. The power of God can pick you from a marital clay and bring you into princess. The power of God can take you out of your village and put you into city. The power of God can pick you out of that small car and put you in an airplane. The power of God can pick you from that small marriage and make you a blessing to the nations of our world. You need that power. You need that power because it's a taboo in our family that we can't prosper. So you will be in Europe. You may be moving 20 years, 25 years, 30 years, but it's a taboo. The only way you can engage yourself in is through the power of God. I may sound foolish to you, but I'm telling you the fact that you can never run away with what I'm saying. It is not by clapping. It is not by dancing. It's a taboo in your family to prosper. It's a taboo in your family to have document. It's a taboo in your family to... to it's like everybody in the family married a non-entity person. It's like in your, in your family, all, all women are men and all men are women. It's a taboo. The necessity of God's power. This is what I found myself. And I can never hide it. My faith has found a resting place. Not in device, no creed. I trust in ever living God. My goodness. Blessed be the name. 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 Be the name. Be the name. Be the name. In Acts chapter 13. In Acts chapter 13. Let me read it for you. Thank you, Spirit of God. In Acts chapter 13. Le Pasuka pa. Verse 6. Listen, and when they had gone through the eye unto Paphos, they found a certain sorcerer, a false prophet, a Jew, whose name was Bar Jesus, which was with deputy of the country, Sergius Paulus, a prudent man, who called for Barnabas and Saul, and desired to hear the word of God. But Elimas, the sorcerer, for so is his name by interpretation, withstood them, seeking to turn away the deputy from their faith. Listen. You need the power of God to cry them out. It's a taboo to prosper. There was a wicked witch that was standing in between Paul and Barnabas. Said that you can't prosper. You can't go forward. But thank be unto God who has delivered us from darkness 
and he has placed us into his marvelous light. Through Jesus Christ, we have power. Victory belongs to God. Victory belongs to him. So I want you to know that power of God is so important. Power of God is so potent that if you have it, you have everything. What are you doing, sister? You are crying nowadays. Nowadays, when I see people crying, I, 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 I say, what, why, why are you crying? Can't you do something about it? Listen, if you know who you are, I was teaching about demono demonology. I was, I was talking to you about demonology. If you know who you are, if you know who you are, that Jesus has bought you with his blood, he has purchased you with his blood, he has bought you precious blood, he spent everything he had and bought you. If you know who you are, I'm telling you that God is even more jealous than you know. That when you sit up, heaven will back you. When you sit up, angels will back you. When you sit up, you will see that spiritual force will come and embrace you and push you. Who says you can't make it? Once you are a believer, this is the moment of war. I told you the other day that we are in the area of war. The kingdom of God and the kingdom of darkness is either you join or you die. It's either you join or you die. This is what I find myself. And tonight, that power is available. Who needs that power? Who want to walk in that power? Who want to swim in that power? Meet me if you are in, in Hanover, Germany. Meet me there for that power. Experiencing the presence and the prophetism of God's power. Meet me there. That witch must die. That the hand must, must shake. With the, the power must change hands. That demon must die. That sickness must die. That witch must die. That wicked entity must die. That stubborn husband must be eliminated. Vashti must be removed so that Esther can come and have his place. Who is standing between you and your blessing? Who is standing between you and your breakthrough? Who is standing be between you and your children? Who is standing between you and your happiness? Who is standing between you and your appointment? And the body must so May the power of God be released right now. May the power of God be released right now. May the power of God be released, be released, be released, be released, be released in the mighty name of Jesus. Any evil dream that you are going through, any evil manipulation that you are going through, anything tormenting your life, there is power available. I put you into that power. Receive that power right now. The power of the Holy Ghost. May you have it. May you have it. May you have it. I cancel any evil dream. I cancel any evil dream. Any evil handwriting that has been written against your life this Christmas. Let Kapashinta Kabroska Prayata. Any evil handwriting. Writing evil against your life. Any evil handwriting. Writing evil against your family. I stand as an intercessor through the power of the Holy Ghost. I stand in for you. I cancel that handwriting. I eliminate that handwriting. I erase that handwriting in the mighty name of Jesus. I pull you out of dungeon. I pull you out of dungeon. And the COVID that they have placed you, and the COVID they have pushed you up by the power of the Holy Ghost, let the COVID be broken up. Let the COVID be broken up. And the pot that is cooking your destiny, and the pot that is cooking your victory, and the pot that is cooking your marriage, and the pot that is cooking your happiness, let the pot be broken. Let the pot be broken. Let the pot be broken. Let the pot be broken in the name of Jesus. The necessity of God's power. It makes you bold enough. One day, one brother was struggling in life. It goes up, comes down. Goes up, comes down. The life just keeps on going, coming. And then they discover that they have made her, him, they have made him as a red oil. That in, in winter, the oil sleeps. And then in summer, the oil awakes. And then when the man discovered the oil was in a pot under his village, he went to his village, discovered it through investigation. They show him. And they, they are three brothers. And when the man went there, 
they were all having three pots. It means that one pot represents each brother. He picked his uh, pot and ran away. And then they, they came to break it. Listen. Anything that is holding your life, making your life, going up and down. You smile today, get angry. You go up today, things get up worse. You smile with your husband today, it gets up. You see a proposal today, then things get up, get down. Listen, power is available. The other day, Apostle Paul says, I did not come with the enticing words of man, but I came with the demonstration of the power of God. This is what we need. Anybody who is not after the power, I don't know what you are after again. Because without the power, you can't do anything. The church can never be preached into the, to, to the world without the power. We need the power. Because that is the only difference that we have between a comedian and a pastor. Because now comedians can also come and say, receive it. Comedians can preach and they can say what pastors are saying. But the difference is the power of God backing the words of the preacher. So you can, you can never depend on your preaching again. You need the power. Because a comedian can come and preach. But the difference between you and a school teacher, the difference between you and a physics teacher, the difference between you and the headmaster is the power of God over your life. The difference between you and the school administrator is the power of God behind you. And this is what you need. This is what I need. And I want us to embrace ourselves so we can receive it. I will come on the way and show you 10 keys to spiritual power. 10 keys to spiritual power. Keep on staying tuned with me. Get connected to me. Follow me. Support me. Be with me. And without you or with you, whatever God has planned to do, God will do it. So it's better you join what the Lord is doing. The other day Jesus said, I will build my church and the grace of earth shall never prevail. Whether you support it or not, God has never changed his idea. But it's better to join what God is doing so that you can have a flow and have a blessing. It does not matter how fake is increasing, the power of God must come back. It does not matter how evil is increasing, the power of God must come back. It does not matter how witch doctors are turning into false preachers, the power of God must come back. Bible says that he know his. Already in media. He know his. He know his. He knows his. And I'm telling you that if you have to join, you join. Because God is not waiting on you. You have to rush. Run. And then meet God at the point of your need. I've come to encourage somebody that Jaisuni Komoidi Jaisuni Komoidi we are serving an awesome God. We are serving a, a God who is potent, who is powerful. And if you can attack out to him, if you can lean on him, if you can re, re, to, 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 to lean on him, I'm telling you, the power that he has, he will give it to you. The other day, Jesus was speaking through God and he says that if God gave us, through, gave us Jesus Christ, what else again? That he's going to withhold from us. He will never withhold anything from us. Get into the school of power. Get into the school of anointing. Get connected. Let's stand together. Let's build the kingdom of God. Let this denomination be cast away. We call it the tradition. I told you that I will talk about the tradition and the church. That limits the power of God. Once you come with your tradition... You limit the power of God. Once you, let, you come with your, 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 your tradition, um, I go to church here, I'm here, I'm here, I'm, you limit the power of God. But we are the nominators of God. God nominated us for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whosoever, whosoever, including Chinese, whosoever, including Japanese, whosoever, including educated, whosoever, including uneducated, we are all one. Whosoever blacks, whosoever white. So if this denomination can be taken away and then nomination will come together, you will see the power of God.
I want to end here. I know that I've been a blessing to you. You need that power. Don't joke with your life. Don't, don't just sit down and just make things happen. There are people, there are three, three people on this earth now. There are people who don't know what is happening. They just see things around, but they don't know what is happening. They ask, what is happening? Then there are people who know what is happening, but they can't do anything about it. They know what is happening. They know that this is an evil. They know that this is a generational curse. They know that this is from my father's house. They know it. This is from mother's house. When I met a lady, said that I know that my uncle has cursed me. But what is he doing about it? Nothing. So there are people who have discovered the problem, but they can never do anything about it. There are people who don't know what is happening. For them, yet, I, I don't know. I don't know what to say. That one is Second Corinthians four four. The devil has blinded them. So for them, yet, they the preaching is foolishness to them. They prefer to watch CNN. They prefer to watch Al Jazeera than to listen to what I'm saying. You, they, for them, they, you could see that the devil has blinded them. One day I was with my friend. One apostle, we were watching gospel show. Somebody just walked in. He, he didn't even give any respect to us. He just told my friend, can you put him in, in, in CNN? Constant negative news. Whilst we were watching a man of God, we wanted to receive the grace of God. I look at this man and say, no wonder you, you don't have power. So for them, the, the devil has already blinded. And then, and, and then there are some people, they know the problem. They, they know that they have a problem. They know that they, they, they are angry all the time. They, they know that they are the cause of their marriage. They are the cause of it. The reason why the marriage is not working well is, the, is because of them. They know it. But they cannot do anything about it. Then there are people who discover the problem. They discover it and they take action. They discover it and they take action. And Jesus put it this way. From the days of John the Baptist up to now, the kingdom of heaven is suffering violence. And the violent take it by force. It's suffering. It allows violence. And the violent take it by force. I, I came to challenge you that whatever you are going through, there is a solution. There is a solution in your marriage, in your life. There is a solution in your body, in your blood system. There was a man of God that they discovered cancer inside him. He went to hospital. They did the exams and they discovered cancer. Everybody thought that this man of God was going to die. This man of God came home and said that nobody should mention this sickness in this house again. Today is the last day of this sickness and the man of God make a declaration into his house all the children became quiet they were watching that to get to die the first day passed the second day passed the third day passed they went to check up again and the doctor said that they can never trace it why because any problem has solution is because you are lazy that you can't even wake up and pray you sleep you prefer to watch Facebook, you prefer to watch naked pictures. You prefer to watch people's breasts. You prefer to watch negative news. Evil negative news. Whilst your marriage is not working well. Instead of you to sit up and do certain things spiritually. You prefer to share a, 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 a gossip conversation. I've told you the truth. The truth has been said now. The essence of what you said. Walk in truth. Walk in holiness. Walk in truth. But God is looking unto you to rise up so that you bring glory to the Son Jesus who died for us. Listen. Anything you are going through, you can solve it. I, I came to challenge you. Anything you are going through, you can solve it. Or what you need to do to sit up. Once you are able to sit up, heaven coming back. The thing is shaking. I want to thank God for your life. I want to bless God for your life. I'm so happy that you have watched me today. And your life, I know your life has changed. My heart desire for you is to walk in power. My heart desire for you 
It's for you to break out in life. It is not by might. It's not by education. It's not about business. It's about the power of God. If you put the power of God down, now you could see people busy, studying, degrees, but no power. The devil that is following you has no respect for BBC English. The demon that want to spoil your life, that want you to, to die at the, age of, at the age of 52, has no respect for Al Jazeera English. He has no respect for, for, your, for your degree. But the only language the devil understands is violence. And the only language the devil understands is power. And the only language the devil understands it's righteousness. Today I came to welcome you to the school of power. It is my heart desire that whatever you do, you prosper. It is my heart desire that whatever you do, you bring glory into the body of Christ. I want to thank God for your life. I want to bless God for your life. It's an exciting moment to be in the presence with wonderful children of God. I'm so grateful to be with you. I'm coming in, uh, in, in, I'm coming in Hanover, as I said. When it Thursday, I'll be in Hanover. Friday, Saturday, Sunday, I'll be in Hanover. Get connected. Go to my page. Pick the number and call. If you know somebody that needs to come, you pick the number. Call the person. Now call this number. Let's help. Let the gift in us help. We are the gift that God has given to the, to, to the children. So it is not about church. It's, a, it's about the gift that is in us. When God gives us a gift, he did not give us church, but he gave us a gift. And that gift, people must benefit from it. So call people. Get connected. In Manchester, we are here. Get connected. Let's see what the Lord is doing. Don't sit up and say that you are here. God will not do it if you don't rise up. But today I came to challenge you that if you rise up, heaven will be with you. Stop them before they stop you. If you really don't stop them, they will stop you. I am everywhere. You can search my messenger. My numbers are already on the screen. You can just look for me and, and give me a call. I'll have time to listen to you, counsel you, reason together. If you have to go for prayers, we go for prayers. If we, if we have to enter into fasting, we enter into fasting and we'll see what the Lord has done. It's a gift that God has given to us. Get connected. And when you get connected, your life will be blessed. I pray for you that if you don't know Jesus Christ, you take Jesus Christ as your personal savior. You walk with him and enjoy Christian life. May you be blessed. May you be empowered. If you are sick in any part of the body, I curse that sickness. I curse that tumor. I curse that brain cancer. I curse that headache. I curse that problem. I curse that demon. I curse that witch. In the name of Jesus, the words that I'm speaking, they are spirit in their life. I enter your home. Anybody thinking evil against your life, I curse that person. In the name of Jesus, walk in the liberty that God has given to us. You are free. You are healed. You can check it. You are the next person to call me to give me your testimony. Be blessed. Be empowered. I will come on your way. But remember, stop them before they stop you. If you don't stop them, they will stop you. But I see you stopping them. In Jesus' mighty name, God bless you. Amen.